Yo, 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 how's it going everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I'm your host Fahim Mushi. I'm a vocal coach, voice teacher, and also a singer. And guys, today by extreme popular demand, I'm gonna be finally reacting and analyzing to, yes, you guys know what it is, it's Diana and Kudinova, Human, okay? Uh, I've got so many requests for this one. I've been meaning to do this earlier, but I just couldn't find the time. So I want to apologize for the delay, but here I am finally doing it, right guys? So apparently in this uh, in this video, I suppose, she does a lot of interesting stuff with her vocals, okay? Um, I actually saw a few comments where they say that she sounds almost like a robot. And I'm like, wait, what? Robot, what are you talking about? So that really intrigued me. I'm like, wow. What is she gonna do? So I can't wait to react and analyze this video. However, before we get started, if you guys are new here, make sure to like this video if you guys are enjoying my content and be sure to subscribe to my channel. And if you do subscribe, then be sure to hit that notification bell uh, because so that you guys get notified every time I upload new videos, okay? And I'll try to upload videos almost every single day or every other day, depending on my schedule. Um, I also have social medias that you guys can follow me at. Um, I'll post them somewhere here. Um, I have Snapchat. Instagram and Facebook okay so I would really appreciate if you guys can go and check me out and give it a like give it a follow okay um, if you guys are trying to improve your singing uh, whether it's your technique or your artistry and whatnot then go ahead book a lesson with me at fiverr.com it's in the description you can also get your singing critiqued by me um, it's only like five dollars um, so it's really cheap so it's also in my Fiverr link so be sure to go ahead and check out those links now with that all being said let's go ahead and read react and analyze this video and see what she brought to the table this time. This song is based in the key of B flat minor. Her phrasing is so freaking good. Now, besides that special unique tone that she's using where she lowers her larynx and kind of get this kind of sound, but it's not just that actually. Now that I'm really listening to it, I can see why some of you guys were telling me that she sounds auto-tuned or she sounds like robotic or processed and whatnot. So what's up with that? Well, the truth is that, you know, she's doing something very special inside her vocal track, she's shape, shaping her tongue, her embouchure, her mouth, essentially, her, especially her vocal track in a way that is allowing her to sound the way that she's sounding, okay? So that's a very interesting sound she's doing here. Um, so if you guys are, let's say, if you guys are trying to, let's say, imitate her or try to learn something from her, I would rather have you focus on the other elements that she's doing in her phrasing, such as those grace notes that she's doing. So let me go back a little bit and show you what I mean. Just that, I'm only human, human. You see what she's doing here? Human. That's the slow version, okay? So have a listen again. I'm only human after all. After all, after all. I'm doing that very fast and she does it so fast that you barely can hear it. And so you might end up saying like, I'm only human after all. Now, while that's nothing, there's nothing wrong with that if you're singing that way, but it's not gonna sound, the, it's not gonna sound what she's doing, okay? And it's this kind of little grace notes that every good singers do when they're singing, let's say pop um, and art, especially pop, okay? Lots of grace notes here and there. And she's clearly doing that and she sounds beautiful. <laughs> If you put your blame on me, on me, on me, on me. That type of a thing, um, it, that's a little bit advanced, I'm not gonna lie, because you have to really slow it down. You, you, you need your voice to be a little bit more flexible to be in order to do it. If you can't do it, you can just sing, put your blame on, put your blame on me, on me, rather than on, on me, okay? So yeah, just wanted to point these things out, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and continue. <laughs> Oh, nice. Oh, nice falsetto. Oh, 
Beautiful. Wow. That tone, so, uh, well, so now she's singing a little bit higher, like getting to that F sharp four, F four uh, area. And you can see that, that tone, it's almost like it uh, embellishes even more. It amplifies more as she goes higher, as she takes that tonality higher. And that sound is so beautiful. I really, really like that, okay? So yeah, good stuff, man, good stuff. Wow, so she added growl, okay? It's not distortion. Growl is basically where you could look do this kind of sound and then ah, ah, and then you kind of add that type of sound now if you can do that i wouldn't recommend that you know you try to push on the sound and keep on getting that because um these things any type of distortion or rap that you add on top of your true falls or your true sound ah, 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 true falls uh, vibrating sounds per se um you should be very careful because you can really really mess up your voice if you're doing it incorrectly she's a very advanced vocalist and she has a lot of experience in singing um that's why she can do those in a safe manner as opposed to her harming her voice right so just a little disclaimer okay but she's doing so good i mean wow that sounded really really good okay so yeah let's go ahead and continue <laughs> I love that part. Um, it's like, oh, I'm only human after all. Like, it, it sounds like kind of auto tune or process. It's because of the grace notes, essentially. I'm only human enough. And it's this thing, and it's this thing that, you know, almost like all pop singers, especially in today's era, like contemporary pop. They use this tab, uh, this grace notes all over the phrasing. That's why it sounds just kind of auto tune, right? So yeah, if you're, let's say, trying to sing this song in our version, you need to be able to do that, okay? Otherwise, it's not going to sound that way, okay? Plain and simple. All right, let's go. Ooh, that yodel there. Beautiful. I know, right? You got crew guys so impressed. He's like, oh my God, this woman... Amazing, what an amazing vocalist. <laughs> Shout out to uh, Igor Krugoy. Igor Krugoy. Hopefully I'm pronouncing his name correctly. All right, let's go. Beautiful. Oh! <laughs> Okay, I love that. Okay, that was that just sounded so good. Oh my god. Oh my god. So the way that you do it essentially is you hold on to the compression and then you let go. Now obviously it's easier said than done. And she's doing so let me go back a little bit again. And she had a great uh kind of uh what do you call it growl there uh, for a sec. So the that's um, like to get that little euro thing, um, you need to compress in a way um, that it's not too much, but it's not too little either. Like it's a, like the only way you will get it is experimentation, trial and error, okay? And I know some of you guys already told me that she used to euro a lot when she, when she was younger. Um, so, you know, she really mastered that art of yodeling essentially along with that kind of low er kind of sound that she sings with and she, came up with this beautiful, unique sound that she's singing with, and it sounds so good, okay? So yeah, good stuff, man, good stuff. So yeah, that's that's another tip for the yodel, okay? The... Something like that, okay? So yeah, let's go to continue. Okay, so that phrase, uh, I'm gonna go back. And guys, again, please, um, if you guys are getting angry with all my pauses, then try to understand that I'm a vocal coach, I'm gonna give my analysis, and for that, I need to pause, you know, here and there, I'm gonna go back, watch it again, give my thoughts and whatnot, so I hope you guys are okay with it, okay? So I'm gonna go back a few seconds here. Hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo. 
it's not essentially what I'm doing here right now. It's not really no, no. Yodels are something that's not my strong suit by any means. Um, it's not something I usually work with, but it's essentially compression break. Okay, if you're holding onto the vocal cord, there's a pressure, and then you let go. So it's like if I'm holding onto the cord, and it flips to that, for instance. That's how you get it. Because you go, even if I do it that way, in that part of my range, because that's above my passaggio, it actually gets a little bit easier. But if I do it, I suppose you can do it anywhere in the range. Essentially, I mean, that should be the ultimate goal, but a little bit higher in the range will be easier for you, okay? Depending on where you're at with your technique, I suppose. But yeah, really good stuff, really good stuff. Oh my God, I love her so much. She's amazing. Nice. Okay, now observe something here about the vowel. She's seeing what what vowel what is she singing? Oh, but how is she shaping her mouth? Like she's singing an ah. Uh. So she's actually shaping her mouth in an ah uh vowel placement or ow ah uh vowel, but she's actually singing an o oh in the throat. So her throat is shaped in the o oh vowel setting, but her mouth is open in the ah uh vowel uh, setting, I suppose. And these are the things that, you know, you will see all great singers doing it. It's like, you know, they're opening their mouth almost like they're singing a different vowel, but they're not. I, I mean, they're singing the same vowel that you would expect, like an ah. Uh, it looks like she's singing an ah. Uh, oh would be oh, right? So I'm going to go back again, okay? So like, so that you guys understand. So let me go back a little bit. Get them. Oh. So that's more, uh, that's getting towards more of an uh kind of vowel as opposed to a pure o. Again, I, I did see her that she was kind of going o in the lower part. Now she's kind of getting a little bit higher. Um, so that's why she's opening up the vowel a little bit, giving a little bit of different texture in the sound. And that was beautiful, by the way. Amazing. Ooh, what was that? Oh my God, that was so beautiful. Let me listen to it again. And she's playing with that sound. So you can see that, right? Like it's. It, it's, I, I wouldn't say it's necessarily opera, it's a little bit different, okay? Like, I mean, opera, obviously, the one I'm doing, it's not opera either, um, but um, the one that she's doing, it's a very interesting sound. It, it really is, guys, I'm not gonna lie. It's not just your Kermit the sound. There's a lot more that she's doing it, because if it, that, if, if it was just that, then anybody could, could have been doing the sound that she's doing, but I don't think anybody else, like, I have not at least heard any, any other singers being, being able to make that type of sound. So it's a very unique sound, if I'm being honest, okay? It, yes, it has Kermit element, but it goes a lot deeper than just your typical Kermit sound, okay? So just wanted to point that out. Oof. And listen for that vibrato, okay? Listen for that vibrato. That vibrato, just that vibrato tells me how efficient, how good her technique is, how efficient her voice is, okay? It's so tiny and narrow. Now, uh, like I'm sure you have heard a lot of other vocal coaches demonstrating and whatnot, but notice that vibrato, it's, uh, it's very wide, okay? It's not narrow because narrow vibratos are actually a lot harder and more advanced. And good singers, usually good vocalists would always choose the narrow vowels. Uh, a narrow uh, oscillation of the pitch in the vibrato as opposed to that kind of, because that's so much easier. That's closer to a wobble per se. Listen to the vibrato. It's so tiny, it's so tiny. So if I were to do that, I'm not sure if I can do it, but let me go, give, uh, let me go ahead and demonstrate. You know, vocal coaches have to demonstrate, right? So, it's that tiny. Okay, look, obviously hers is a lot more better, obviously, but I did my best here. I'm not going, that's what people would normally do, but she's not doing here, okay? So I know these things are very, uh, very nuanced, 
but you have to learn this different nuances if you really want to be a good singer, okay? So yeah, I, point, I wanted to point it out and I want to apologize for all the pauses, but let's go ahead and continue. Oof. Nice. So she's playing uh, with human and human. She's uh, playing with the vowel. In certain in certain parts of the phrases, she's going human, and in certain parts of the phrase, she's going human. Okay, so that's interesting. Okay, just wanted to point that out. Oof! Amazing! Wow! Really? Ooh! Dramatic ending. I like that. Very good body language right there. All right, all right. So I suppose that's it for this video. So as usual, what an epic performance, right? I mean, wow, totally slayed this performance. I think this is probably one of my favorite performance of first right now, if I'm being honest. But um, yeah, let me go ahead and first wrap this video up and then I'll give you guys a little bit more analysis and some personal thoughts. All right, all right. Wow, what an epic, stellar performance by Diana Ankudinova. Wow, that was beautiful, guys. She really displayed that unique tone of hers here, and I really, really enjoyed it, guys. Um, what a beautiful voice she has. Um, like those uh, kind of grace notes that she was doing, like I really like that, okay? And any good singer will implement those things that kind of, uh, that kind of thing, right? And her vibratos are so tight, man, it's so narrow. like. At the end, when she holded out that vibrato, she was an ah or ah. It was even narrower than that. Okay, like narrower in pitch differences or narrower in oscillation of the pitch, uh, pitches. Um, very good, very good, guys. And her body language was spot on. Okay, like she's really being dramatic and whatnot. She's singing, um, you know, singing from her heart as opposed to you know being nervous and whatnot. Oh, I'm performing in front of so many people. Very good singer, very good performance. Okay, I really enjoyed it. Our vowels were very interesting vowels. Okay, she was darkening the vowels. She was using that Kermit uh, tone of hers. But she, there's something else that she also adds in that Kermit sound that gives her this sound. Okay, it's gonna door almost like a kind of processed sound, if I'm allowed to say that. So it's really interesting, guys. Really interesting. I really enjoyed it. Um, and um, yeah, I uh, I really don't have anything else to add here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and end this video here. So there you go, guys. That's my reaction and my analysis of Diana and Kudinova singing Human. I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction and my analysis, because if you guys did, then be sure to smash the thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and hit the notification bell for more videos like this. Let me know down in the comments what you guys thought of my reaction and my analysis. And if you guys want to do more Diana and Kudinova reaction videos or anybody else for that matter, then let me know down in the comments and I will try to get them back to you as soon as possible. So yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.